Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is Introduction to Python. And in today's lesson, we'll be covering while loops. And if you haven't checked out my previous video where we covered for loops, I recommend that you watch those and my other videos covering Python as well. So for and while loops are from a output perspective, have a lot of overlap. They both increment a set of code and produce, allow you to rerun that code over and over again. You can have it both of them do many similar things, but there are some slight differences. Uh, from my own personal experience, I use for loops much more often, especially if I know I need to go through an established list or established range, uh, as opposed to while loops. I mostly do it when I don't know how many increment uh, increments or, or iterations there are going to be. Uh, but both are extremely useful, and uh, certainly you can use one or the other or both in your programming. So here we have the code that I used for the if, if statement program. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go, we're going to go times is equal to one. And then we're going to go while times is less than three, run this code. Right. So then we're going to have to indent it so then they know what set of code we're going to run. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to go times equals plus equal one, which is the same thing as, uh, which, yeah, which is the same thing as doing times equals times plus one. So this is just a slightly shorter version of that. So good. So in, in theory, since we start at one, it'll run through, it will run, it should run in this case twice. Because it's going to run as when it's one, and then run. Then it's going to become two, run. So it's less than less than three. Then it's going to increment again after two, and it's going to become three. And three is no longer less than three. So let's go ahead and see that in action. So we're going to go king. How old are you? I am 58. And then we are going to go Jasper. And we're going to put an age of 24 and there you go come back in one year because you're you're too young so you can see there how uh how it how it functions it's very similar it would have been the same as if we did a for loop and did one to one to three for example one in range one to three or we just did three for example uh, so very similar uh, there's another technique that you can do you can go while true and then here it will run an infinite loop until until you tell it to break. So if we were to run this, and I just did like a twenty eight and b and I I did sixty nine and we kept kept going forward, uh, it would it would keep going because there's no condition to stop it. So the way you would stop it in this in this instance, and this is actually one of the times I would actually use a while loop is that let's go okay let's do this let's import a library in this case it's going to be random and then i'm going to go stop int equals to random dot range in this case i'm going to go one to ten so here what we're going to do here is we're going to say if times is equal to so the equality uh, is equal to stop int then break otherwise don't so i'm also gonna print here stop int just so that we know what it looks like sorry it's not range it's a uh, slightly different syntax here ran range there you go. That should do it. So here it's going to increment three times. So we're going to go king 27. We're going to go June 15. And then there you go. It's going to air out. Um, mostly because I put this times equal plus one before. I thought it was going to be three, but it's going to go one. 
It's going to go through, then it's going to be 2, check the condition, then it's going to run again, so it's times is equal to 2, it's going to run again, it's going to be 3, then it's going to stop. So it's only really ran through twice. So you can see how that can be a really useful and powerful technique. We're going to put it to action once we go through web scraping and building a web crawler. Uh, but in the meantime, if you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And as well, don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.